Hi Scorpio, this is Moon Pie Tarot doing your singles reading for mid-May to mid-June. This is for all single Scorpios where you do not have anyone on your mind or you are finished with the past. We want to see what your love journey is going to be during this time period. Um, if you want to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below. Go ahead under the video, click the link. It will take you to my booking site. Um, you can also uh, follow me on Instagram at Moon Pie Tarot. Okay, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. All right, you guys, I've disabled the comments just because I want to protect you guys from getting spammed or scammed. People uh, asking for money in the comments section. And, you know, I have a verification tick on my next to my name here on my channel. Um, and sometimes people miss that stuff. So I just feel like let's just remove the comments for a little while until YouTube takes care of this all right let's see but you can also you can comment my community section if you like um i'm gonna just start opening up say anything comment if you would like to comment all right um so normally i would say that if i see any kind of a reunion card come up then that would call for the past and if that's the case i gotta bring it up but if not um then i won't but i do let me see here Give me a second. I do see. <laughs> I do see a pet. I do. Okay. I do see someone here. All right, Scorpio. Um, I'm seeing Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay. Um, but the past looks like dating, fun. Um, for some of you, could have been reuniting with friends, family, lovers. Uh, all that um, just some celebrations being around people that are very supportive of you that kind of thing in the past looks good but right now whew, right now there's some stuff going on that you are not sure about how you f uh, how you feel about something or how you feel about someone or uh, anybody um, the moon yeah, this is kind of like some a little bit of dark energy. This is kind of like laying in your bed at night and seeing shadows on the wall and not sure if there's like monsters in your room or if it's just like your coat that's hanging up. Okay, or a reflection on the wall or something. Um, this can be an energy of unseen problems or voluntary changes, but you're trying to trust your intuition in regards to something in your life right now. Um, seeking clarity for your emotions. Um, you know, Scorpio, you are the sign whose emotions run the deepest. In fact, sometimes they're so deep down that they rarely surface and when they do, it's like, what the heck is this? It's like that angler fish that washed up on the beach that we saw in the news. We know it's down there, okay? But we've never actually seen one. And when it just shows up on the beach, it's like, you don't know what to make of it. And that's kind of like what's happening with you right now. There's, look at that lobster. <laughs> that's like a that angler fish washing up on the beach. And it's like, it's confusing. It's like... It's fascinating. I feel like you're a little fascinated by your emotions, but as my good friend Lucy says, um, your lobster is like your soulmate. Um, and you might be questioning, where's my soulmate? Is my soulmate at the bottom of the deep blue sea? Um, <laughs> are they down there lighting up everything? And, you know, like that angler fish, are they luminescent? You know, Luna means the moon. Um, so you're really in this position of trying to get in touch with things. And I feel like it's a real challenge for you to come out of some troubled waters or a real challenge for you to um, come out of your comfort zone. It's good for you to do that because this also sits in the benefit position for you, but it's not easy, okay? Um, and I feel like you might be having some clarity about your, the depth of your emotions, but you're really not too sure about how you feel about something or, or some things. Now I like to pull clarify your cards, cards on the major arcana. So let's look a little bit more into the moon because I feel like this is um, 
this is a message like, do I pay attention to my wild side or do I pay attention more to my domesticated side? Do I do the right thing or do I chase waterfalls? I'm not sure. I'm kind of in a reflective mode here. I'm not, I don't, I'm not really sure how I feel about something. Okay. Wow. So you have the King of Swords twice here. Okay. This is really, for you, Scorpio, um, it's an energy. I feel like mostly you are trying to get clarity. You know, um, the King of Swords is an intentional leader and very strategic in his thinking. You're trying to process the depth of your emotions through logical thought right now. So you can better understand what it is that you're feeling. Okay. Um, now for some of you, it could be a connection to an air sign, but you have the King of Pentacles in what's external to you as a person. So I feel that's more or less your energy, male or female. You know, the King of Swords, um, just kind of like, I feel like you're trying to, maybe there was some corruption or um, maybe you were conning yourself. You're trying to be true. Um, trying to gain clarity is really what I feel here. Um, you're just lost in this web of emotion. You don't know what what label to put on these things, okay? The Ace of Wands is what's driving you. And this is all about initiation. Initiating, um, being inspired, and having an urge to create something new in your life, okay? Um, and as I said, it's... A, it's like a new beginning. It's taking leadership. It's being courageous. It's using your willpower um, to go after what you want in your life. You're trying to have some kind of a new start here in your life. Let's get it. I just want to clarify. Okay, yeah, strength, courage. Trying to gain up some, just get some courage. Loving yourself, the courage to love yourself, like unconditionally, to begin accepting you for who you are, all your flaws and all your perfections, you know? I feel like you, I feel like you're having a hard time with that here. You really are. Maybe you were in an abusive relationship, past relationship or a family member or a friend, um, whatever it might be, and it is really hard for you to face your fears, but it's necessary because the Six of Swords is always about a necessary transition or to relocate or move yourself out of that dark moon energy of deception, illusion, and lies. You're having a hard time gaining clarity between what is real and what isn't in your life at this time, okay? And don't think you're the only one. You do have the the deepest of feelings in the zodiac. Um, they say still waters run deep, but you've got that contradicting energy, Scorpio, where you have Mars and Pluto fighting one another. You know, this Ace of Wands is your Mars energy. This is what drives you. This is what that Mars planet gives you the passion and the courage and the drive to achieve. But that Pluto energy keeps you in that dark place. It can keep your, it affects your moods. Um, it keeps you isolated sometimes. It's like Hades in mythology, Greek mythology, down in, in the underworld, okay? So it's like you've got the passion and the drive, but the emotions can be very difficult for you, right? And there's a surprise gift coming in for you here during this time that you're not seeing are you maybe apathetic towards, or you may have a decision to make, or you're not sure what to do with it? You know, I feel like you're looking at your past, maybe relationships or love entanglements, um, maybe comparing, uh, having to make a choice, it feels like. But you, you're not sure if this coming in is going to be fulfilling enough for you. This is your head. This is what's crowning down on you, the crown chakra, the connection between wisdom and spiritual insight. 
you know and it's i almost feel like you're not seeing it you're not looking at it the love that's being offered or keeps being offered to you right and i feel like it's because Your emotions are having a really huge effect on you at this time. And I'm not really sure why, because it looks like in the past you were light and jovial and happy and having fun, but something's come up for you. Maybe you're apathetic. You're you're you know, like your emotions they, they surface up to the top of your head. And I don't know if you just don't know if love is fulfilling or if it will fulfill you or you'll be as happy as you hope to be. Even when, you know, that's the Ace of Cups right there. It's like spirit keeps bringing you or somebody, you know, this is like a blessing that keeps coming to you, you know, and it's like you don't, I don't know if you don't want it or you just, I want to pull a clarifier. Why is why is Scorpio thought process like maybe there's discouragement or you don't know that love will ever no one will ever meet the depth of emotions or really truly understand you. Okay. Page of Swords. Huh. Well, because you guard yourself, you're guarded, you're protecting your heart, your emotions, your protect self protection. Like the page of swords there. Okay, you don't trust people. Uh, you don't know if people are going to be truthful or they're honest coming into your your heart or your your life. You're very curious, but you're you you want to know what people are about. You know, there's just this energy of um, maybe you feel like you are too weak, or this just going to wind up being a bad break. You know. Maybe it's just you're apathetic to love or indifferent to it at this time because you have other things going on. It may not be like deep emotional wounds. It could just be um, legal things happening. Okay, so all of that being said, and then you come to the Six of Wands. So you come out of it, and that's what I feel like you have whatever's going on here and things affect you or you get down on yourself or you're not sure about love, you don't trust and there's a lot to overcome and you know you need to make a transition you're trying to get clear with yourself you don't know which you know if you have what it takes to mentally transition but you definitely have the drive and the spirit and this here because you always get your courage back that mars energy always brings you into a winner's circle every single time you are always undefeated you are always with the you know <laughs> Look at how he parades that wreath around. Um, when you win, you win big. You don't win small. You're not the type to go in and do like a fetty, a fetty, a petty bank theft. You're like, like for me, Scorpio, you're like, you know, it, I'm not just going to go in and rob a bank for like 500 bucks. No, no, no. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to go big and it's going to be a mission impossible. And I'm going to plan it out and scheme it. And I'm going to make sure that I get, and please don't, I'm not giving you advice to go rob a bank, but I'm saying your energy is like when you want to do something, you know, you're going to go home. Is it go big or go home? You choose to go big, right? So you, you're back up on the horse. You're getting your attention, your recognition here, you're getting noticed, you're in a victory position, award, good news, success. So whatever you're going, whatever's happening here, right, you start off like, ah, ha, 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 having a good time, and then you go into this dark place here, but you get your spunk, and then you're back on top again. Your advice here is to manifest. Keep manifesting, Scorpio. The magician is always someone who's very focused, creative. He turns visions into reality. He is, he's inspired action, which sits right next to the Ace of Wands. Inspired action, okay? Um, you, your advice is to lay all your cards out on the table. And, and this is a singles reading, okay? So, you know, in your life, lay your cards out on the table say look this is what i'm working with and this is what i'm able to create here in my life tell it to yourself tell it to other people he's got his cup his sword his pentacle and his wand these are all the tools of my tool belt and i am i am able like 
you're an initiator, you have leadership skills, you are courageous, you have the willpower, you can undertake and start new things in your life. Um, but be open and truthful and be pure, but wear that cloak of passion with the red, okay? That cloak 100% has the energy of like um, vitality, okay? Um, exemplary strength, survival, hard work, and leadership. All right, that's about the base chakra. And the white, that's truth, innocence, and purity. Remember who you are. Now you have a king of pentacles here. This person is either, well, they're external to you, okay? They're either currently in your life or they're going to show up, okay? The king of pentacles, that is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. The king of pentacles, now it doesn't have to be that sign, but this person... Um, this person represents someone who is like solid and a is a solid and practical leader. Okay, they're a very wise investor. They're very um, it's probably the best type of person to get involved with because they're truthful. They're conservative. Um, this p this person is um, very domesticated. They have a love for home and abundance and family and working. Um, they may uh, they like the finer things in life, Scorpio. Um, this person is not over. It's not often expressive with the emotions, but they may be more of a gift giver kind of thing, kind of person. Okay, let's get some clarity. And I don't know if you can see it, but the King of Swords is up here as well. But this sits in your hopes and fears. And since you have it twice, once on you and then here with you, I feel like that's more about you, okay? But it's energy. Okay, there's, wow. Okay, so this King of Pentacles is a fighter. Um, this is somebody who, they kind of, um, it's like they don't give up. This is someone who's quite defensive, maybe even self is into self-defense. Maybe they practice self-defense or something. Um, and they're very protective, or maybe even overly protective, okay? They're protective of themselves. They're protective of their family. They're protective of their career, their money, their work, all that stuff. Um, this person is not afraid of confronta confrontation. They do not fear standing up against the masses or anyone they're very good at like standing their ground okay and i feel that if you're looking for someone like that they they have an energy of they protect their loved ones okay they just don't take any bs from anybody okay the hanged man is here so yeah this person is very um amiable they just have this uh, this is piscean energy here they have this ability to like take a bad situation and see the silver linings in it they're solution oriented kind of a person here and with the hanged man you may have met this person prior or you may meet them on the 16th wait maybe in june okay um or they have a birthday June 16th, <laughs> or had a birthday May 16th. But um, yeah, I just feel like this person is very wise. They're self-sacrificing. They'll do anything for anyone. Um, and they're very good at like helping other people have uh, gain a new perspective on life. I just, they keep telling me to pull cards all on Page of Cups. There's gonna be some lovely communication coming in from this person um, when you meet them or if they're already connected to you, there's, um, they, they have a very, like, um, a, a volunteering kind of an attitude. Like they love to give, uh, like a child will bring a flower to somebody, you know, or create a, a picture with crayons or something. And they say, here, this is for you. Like they kind of, they have a very sweet, innocent way about them. Um, and they, they like to bring gifts or, or bring like new love um, inspiring love to people so even in their communication now why is the king of swords here your hopes and your your hope your hope here is that you will maintain your sense of clarity okay that you will um, 
maintain an ability to be a bold leader because I feel like that's a challenge for you male or female it doesn't matter um, that you can maintain this that you can um, be intentional in your communication or in the things that you do in your life to not hiding the 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 king of swords is you know has the energy of like very selective with what he says but what he says is impactful okay so he doesn't waste time with chit chat um, when he wants to say something he gets it across um, with the precision of a surgeon he's not cruel if you're in the upright he'd be cruel but he's just direct okay and i feel like for you um you sometimes embody that energy but you know i feel like you want i feel like there's an energy of fine tuning the way you communicate with people and with yourself um the king of swords always has that energy of clarity being clear okay uh crystal clear clear as the blue sky right and and but i do feel like you have a fear that you may not be able to accomplish that because scorpio you're all about the emotions and the passion okay your communication skills are not always that great and it's difficult for you to articulate your emotions and filter them up through your brain cerebrally just say them you don't have the gift of mercury like gemini or libra or um virgo or aquarius okay um, but mostly Gemini and Virgo, um, they have the gift of gab. They're very good talkers, okay? And when I and, and there's other signs that are very good talkers, but that comes naturally to Gemini and Virgo to be able to communicate. They don't, it just comes naturally. It's just what they're born with, okay? I feel like the struggle for you is to speak what's on your mind because the Six of Swords is a card of, the swords represent the intellect, right? And I feel like you're very intelligent, but it sits here on the moon. So the difficulty in the transition is to take how you feel and take that, those emotions and express them. It's like, the, it's very challenging for you to do that for some reason. I don't know why, I, only you know exactly why that is, but talking, you know, look at this, look at this water down here. Water represents the emotions, a lot of chaos, stirring up, you know, a lot of emotional t tumultuousness here. And the swords are asking you to stop, stop stirring up your emotions and just start getting them out and speaking them, you know, with your, get your thoughts out. It's hard for you to do that because you're, like I said, you're still trying to figure out how you feel. You're not even sure. It's like, again, I said that angler fish just what, like, what the heck is that? So I see here the outcome, Taurus energy. Uh, I see commitment. I see marriage. I feel like you're going to be able to have victory in overcoming and making this transition to speak how you feel, to, to get to, to maybe speak so you can get some clarity or talk to somebody about some clarity. I feel here like you're going to be victorious in that. And I do feel like things are going to wind up at some point in a committed relationship where there's going to be an energy of um, higher level understanding, spiritual understanding, um, expectations become, are getting met, things that you expect, but others don't know what it is that you expect and you find a way to communicate and express something to somebody okay and no more running away or rebelliousness okay because this in reverse would be rebelliousness and it's like getting out of that energy um it's getting out of feeling like you have to do something but being able to express it now because it's what you want to do let's get a clarifying card for the hierophant for you scorpio singles all right king of wands okay bold leadership now some of you like i said you're it could be the same person or it could be um you um but i'm seeing that king of wands whoever it is aries leo sagittarius that king of wands has an energy of being bold powerful charming and courageous and i feel like 
you're getting some kind of offer. Um, someone expresses their love to you, and I feel like that gives you a sense of courage. It's almost like maybe you express something to this person coming in here or that's here, and they give you like the seal of approval and they give you that unconditional love. And that brings you both into higher level type of committed relationship where you feel strong and you feel passionate. You get that, you get it. It's more than just energy external to you. You begin to feel that way. It's almost as if there's a partnership that revitalizes you. Let's see. Okay. And you're able now to go on that journey that you've been trying to take of the emotional journey. Okay. And you're now where once before you were denying that cup here. Now you're chasing after it because you've had a taste of how good it could be from somebody here. And now it's like all you're focused on. Now you take that love journey here. You separate yourself from all of the others who could not compare to what is coming in for you here. And now you just want to keep chasing that love cup. You know what's funny? It's not even on here. Um, my other deck, <laughs> I don't even know which deck it is. And I feel like I'm, I'm pointing here and I can't even see that it's not there. My other deck has eight cups and then up here, it's got the ninth cup. And I always say on that journey to go after that ninth cup. But look, here's the moon. Just like the way it started here in the beginning for you. Trying to gain clarity. You constantly keep check. Now you, you become skilled at your emotions. And you become like, now you want to talk more. <laughs> Somebody here gives you the courage to overcome. And to get out of that comfort zone and really open up. And it's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. Let me get um, an angel wisdom messages here for you. I just feel inspiration. Communication that inspires you from somebody here. Okay. Let's see. Oh, you've got the queen of swords. Oh my gosh. Brilliant, experienced, humorous, judgmental, releasing situations or people that no longer serve you, seeing the humor in difficult situations, focusing on career, and divorced or unmarried individuals. Okay. Um, let's see. What else? Another message. Oh, you have the two of cups falling in love or the resurgence of a romantic relationship, forgiveness and the ending of challenges, exchanging gifts. Don't give up on people you love. All right. Some of you, this is someone that you're currently involved with for some. It said, I wasn't seeing a past thing, but it says the resurgence of a romantic relationship. So for some of you, that could be a renewal. Okay. For some. Now, listen, my comments are disabled. I know some of you are like, I'm not going back. Well, you don't have to tell me that. I don't need to know if you're going to go back to someone or not. You do whatever you need to do. Okay, I'm just giving you the messages and the guidance here of what comes up. All right, let's see. And then you have the Six of Pentacles here. The good you do comes back to you, Scorpio. An unexpected inflow of abundance, borrowing wisely, being able to pay off a debt, sharing your wealth with others less fortunate. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. All right. A couple of charms. Oh, full circle. Okay. Red, passion. A full, this is a, something is coming full circle here for you. Could be a relationship. Love coming back around into your life. Could be someone from your past, current. Chanel number five. I feel like Chanel number five shows up all the time. A gift being given to you, or you wear that, um, or a gift being shared with someone. Um, pink. Oh, I feel like you're coming into like a lot of money. There's wealth here in like being able to give gifts now because you have you have wealth. Oh, they're giving me a whole bunch. Okay, so let's start here. You've got a turtle. 
all right turtle might resonate for you in some way i don't know what the meaning of the turtle is um but that's definitely oops sorry that's definitely like hard shell soft on the inside <laughs> but this turtle let me just say is not hiding this turtle legs and his head is out so he's fearless okay um and that's good i feel like that represents what's going on with you your his tail is out your you're coming out into the open you also have a, a red apple so you could be eating an apple right now maybe some of you have a pet turtle or turtle resonates for you somehow but you could be eating a red delicious apple or this could have something to do with the, the big apple or something to do with new york maybe you're from there or maybe there's um, a plan to visit there um listen that's good health an apple a day keeps the doctor away so some of you could be eating fruit more or focusing on better health and you also have this pink kitty i wasn't going to say that but i feel like i'm, I'm going to say this oh, please forgive me but <laughs> should i say this this is horrible i wish i could leave the comments open go go over to my community section if you want to comment on what i'm about to say i mean i don't blame you but some of y'all maybe you have a kitty that you just shaved <laughs> or maybe you just no i'm not saying anything like you dirty minds no seriously you might have one of those kitties that has no hair okay maybe i am saying that but you take it as it resonates okay maybe some of you are just like listening and doing that right now you could be shaving your legs for all i care all right but there is an energy of like hygiene here to say the least so i'm gonna leave your reading there i hope that you enjoyed that i know it might have been a little intense my apologies i get that way sometimes um again please hit like share and subscribe if you enjoy my reading if you find it comical sometimes i think i'm a comedian i know i'm not that funny but again if you want to get a personal reading there's a link in the description box below go over and check out my new channel house of virgo if you're involved with a virgo and you want to learn more about them or get messages Definitely check that out and please do subscribe. All right, you guys, talk to you soon. Good luck. Bye.